Hey guys, this is Aaron. I uh, had a request on a YouTube comment a few weeks back asking if I could show some different ways to make drapes in SketchUp. So there is a couple ways. There's actually two major ways that I can think of. One is using all native tools. So that's what we're gonna actually look at today is making a set of drapes using only native SketchUp tools. The other is using extensions. So maybe in a couple weeks, we'll come back, revisit this process with extensions. So right now, native tools, we're gonna hop right in. So you can see right here what I have is, I got a little bit of a room, I'm working on a room, good looking room. But uh, you can see I got uh, a bar up here, I got a window, but I don't actually have any drapes. So perfect opportunity to create some drapes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by drawing a rectangle. I'm gonna come in here and just draw a rectangle on the ground. This is oversized, this is bigger than what I'll actually want but uh, it's a place to start. I'm gonna grab an arc. I'm gonna come here and snap to one side of the rectangle and I'm pull that, re that straight across. So I just clicked once, released, now I'm moving to the right. You can see a couple things happen. As I drag out, if I stay on this surface, it's creating this uh, half circle shape. Um, as long as I keep moving, I'm moving along the red axis. I'm not actually seeing it, but I do see that that uh, perpendicular line is green. That means I am, it's giving me validation, I am on the red axis. So I'm gonna drag that up around over here about this far, and I'm gonna click, and then I'm gonna click again on the half circle. All right, now I'm going to select that arc, and I'm going to use rotate. I'll click here on the end, click back to the beginning point, hit the option or control key to make a copy, and spin that copy around 180 degrees. So I'm creating a flow. This is gonna be the face of our drapes. I'm gonna go ahead and grab both of them, use the move command, again, with the option or control key to make a copy. And I'm gonna do that two times, so I'm just gonna type X to enter. All right, that looks pretty good. I wanna get one more half circle on here, so I'm gonna grab this one right here and use move to just move with the modifier key to move that right over. All right, now I'm gonna put a line from here on the green axis right back to this rectangle, and I can get rid of all these pieces. This is the shape I'm looking for, and almost the shape. I wanna actually grab this line and move it back a little bit, not so it all connects or overlaps, but so I have one solid shape, uh, something like that. So you can see what we're looking at here is this is gonna be the bottom of the drapes. This uh, curvy, connected, arc, scallopy kind of shape. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use push-pull to pull this up. Uh, my window, I believe, is up at seven feet, so I'm gonna go up to eight feet. There we go. And at that point, if I was to triple-click on this geometry and use soften to get rid of those extra lines, this right here could actually work as drapes. If, if I did not know any better, um, I could say that this could work as some drapes. It's not ideal. Um, there's still some work to be done, which is why this video is still happening right now. So. Let's look at some ways we can maybe give this a little more shape, a little more energy. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this top surface and I'm gonna use scale just on the top surface, not the, not the vertical members, just this top surface and I can grab it by the, red, by the handle right here, pull it over a little bit and that's gonna give me just kind of a little bit of an angle to those. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, a little less, but I'm gonna pull it in this way and see those drapes kind of billow out a little bit from the top. I'm not gonna get a full like, swooping shape or it's not gonna give me any back and forth, but I got a little bit more of a drape shape right there. That looks pretty good, but I think there's more that I can do here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of some extra geometry. I don't actually need this to be a solid and back. I really just want this one curvy shape. That's all I'm really looking for. Uh, just to keep this from fusing with any geometry then, I'm gonna triple click and then right click and make that into component called drape. Makes sense, right? And now I'm going to grab it and I'm going to slide it straight back 
up against the wall. All right, so if I'm gonna have it on this window, obviously the size is not gonna work, so I'm gonna use the scale command, and I'm just gonna pull it in a little bit on the left side so it's there where it should be. I'll pull it in here on the right side. All right, that looks pretty good. I may actually use my vertical ones too. I may pull it down a little bit, sticking up a little high past that bar. And maybe I'll pull the bottom up, maybe just above that trim, something like that. All right, there we go. In, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say we just made some drapes. That looks pretty good. I may want to make a copy of this. Move command, modifier key, option, or control, depending on your operating system, and bring another copy straight across. From here, I can use scale. I'm gonna grab one of the side, command, side handles and pull it not, not through itself all the way to the other side, but if I hold down the modifier key again, I can scale from the middle and it'll snap when it hits minus one. So from there, right there, I actually got a, a decent set of drapes. I even like the color. I think that's gonna work for me. So there you go, you get an idea of how you could make that kind of geometry using only native commands. No extensions used, and you can see it only took us a couple of minutes. In a couple of weeks, we'll come back and we'll grab a couple extensions, uh, maybe some lofting tool and, and maybe a, a, a bending tool to get some flow in there, and we'll see how you could do it there too. We're gonna get a little bit different output. It's gonna be a more, uh, not quite as rigid as the ones we just made. Um, but we'll see there's different options. This obviously is pretty quick, pretty easy, and in the end, you can't argue with the fact that we got some drapes. So hopefully that helped you. Uh, if so, let us know down below. If not, let us know that too. Tell us what you thought. If you have any other ideas for videos, while you're down there, go ahead, subscribe, give us a like, let us know we're doing a good job. We like making these videos, but we like making them a lot more when we're showing things that you wanna see. Thank you.